What's going on guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, the commentary series where I sit down and talk about anything technology related. Now in the background, I have some footage from the trip that I went on last week to Bar Harbor. It was from one of the hikes that me and my cousin went on, so I hope you guys enjoy that footage. Now today's topic can come across as a good or bad thing depending on the type of person that you are. As you can read by the title, DJI has discontinued their Phantom 3 line of drones. As you know, there was four of them within the series. They had the Phantom 3 Standard, the Phantom 3 Professional, the Phantom 3 Advanced, as well as the Phantom 3 4K. Now upon heading over to DJI's website and clicking on the Phantom 3 Professional, you'll see that we get a tiny notice that pops up. It states, please note that the Phantom 3 Advanced Professional 4K is no longer being produced. For the latest DJI technologies, please see the Mavic. Now in this statement from DJI, I see nothing about the Phantom 3 standard, which leads me to believe that this drone is still being manufactured as well as sold through their website. With that being said, I'd have to say that they're keeping the Phantom 3 standard around to be their entry-level drone, and then the Mavic Pro and the Phantom 4 are their middle-of-the-road drones, and then finally the Phantom 4 Pro and the Inspire series are their professional drones. So now that we've gone over all of the information, let's talk a little bit about why I think DJI is discontinuing the Phantom 3 line. Now first of all, I think it's just so that they can keep up with production of the Mavic Pro. If you guys haven't seen, within the past couple of weeks, there's been some emails as well as notifications sent out saying that the Mavic is on a one week shipping order. So basically, if you order your Mavic now, you should get it within the next week, which is awesome. It's really nice to see that they've finally caught up with their pre-order sales. But honestly, I think that to achieve this, they had to somehow cut out some sort of production. As you know, they're making the Inspire 2, the Phantom 4s, the Phantom 4 Pros. They have so many drones right now in production that they simply can't keep up with all of the orders. You heard me say in the beginning of this video that this news can come across to some people as either a good or bad thing, and to me, I would have to say that it's a good thing. I'm one of those people that loves when technology progresses, and I hate staying in the past. I'm always wanting to stay on top of the newest gadgets coming out, and this is especially true when it comes to drones. Even though each year when we get a new Phantom drone, it has the slightest changes from the previous model, sometimes those changes can make a big impact. For example, there are only a few upgrades when going from the Phantom 3 to the Phantom 4 series. Just to name some of them off the top of my head, we have the addition of sport mode, some slight body modifications, as well as the addition of obstacle avoidance sensors. But to someone who has just bought in their Phantom 3, it's probably not all that tempting to upgrade to the Phantom 4 just yet. In my experience, I started out flying drones with the Phantom 4 and then from there upgraded to the Phantom 4 Pro, and honestly, I can't imagine flying a drone without obstacle avoidance sensors. Now, I feel comfortable enough flying without them turned on, maybe if I'm flying around in sport mode or ATTI mode. Again, I do feel comfortable with that, but honestly, I love using them whenever I'm trying to use an intelligent flight mode or when the drone is coming back to me using its return to home feature. Now if you guys were looking to buy a Phantom 3 Professional, Advanced, or 4K, I would pull the trigger soon as they could become hard to find over the next couple of months. But honestly, if I were you, just take one look at the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 Pro, or the Mavic Pro, and then make your decision because those three drones are honestly some of the best on the market right now. So anyway, this video is about wrapping up. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a fairly short episode as I just wanted to inform you guys on the discontinuation of the Phantom 3 line of drones. It seems that DJI was really quiet about this. They didn't like make any announcement or send out any emails. You kind of had to do some digging in order to find out. But if you guys liked this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. As well as leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this move. Do you think they should have kept the Phantom 3 series around or do you think that they should have gotten rid of it like they did? So anyway, this video is coming to an end, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.